Hi there, Joe DeSanto here. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to journal entry in an annual payroll into your QuickBooks, thereby converting draws you had taken throughout the year into W-2 salary. So if you were looking to do that, uh, this will be the video for you. Thanks. I'm Joe DeSanto, by the way. I'm an independent CFO and business consultant. I actually spent most of my career in Los Angeles building a few multi-million dollar businesses, and I've since semi-retired, and now I help other uh, businesses and individuals manage their money and plan better for their future. So if you're interested in small business, personal finance, and real estate advice, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Okay, hello again. So this is like the third video of a little series uh, about doing annual payroll for yourself. This is kind of particularly, you know, meant for like consultants, people that have S corps, but it's just them and they don't run payroll throughout the year for employees or whatever. Um, and they do kind of an annual payroll for themselves to essentially convert draws to, to salary and then pay appropriate taxes on that. Uh, and it's, you know, what I do in my case. Um, there was a video where I ran the payroll itself in Gusto, which is what I do my payroll in and what I kind of recommend people to. And now in QuickBooks over here, I'm going to show you how to journal in this payroll. Now, truth be told, I use Quicken. So I have another video on showing you how to do it in Quicken. You know, I use Quicken for my personal and my S Corp finances. But um, I know a lot of people do, if they have an S Corp, do use QuickBooks um, and may need to do it in there. Uh, I'm also as knowledgeable in QuickBooks because a lot of my clients' businesses are QuickBooks. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it here. Now, the payroll that I did uh, was a $48,000 annual payroll, okay? And from that, I had $8,000 of federal tax withholding come out to be sent into the IRS on my behalf for my personal taxes. It also held back uh, $3,670 of payroll tax, you know, that I was responsible for as the employee and sent that into the uh, IRS as well. In addition to that, the company, my company paid $3,720 of uh, payroll tax itself. So, the company in total uh, essentially on paper paid out $51,721, $48,000 in payroll to me, the employee, and then it paid payroll tax on top of that. Now, through this process, the, the total debit was $15,393. Now, the way I had the payroll set up was that my net pay I would give to myself in form of check, but I did not give myself the net pay in form of check because I've already taken draws. So in essence, I'm sort of offsetting draws that I have taken with the net paycheck, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to journal that. So here is just an example of the bank account, and if the debit came out of the bank account, you could, you would either enter it into the bank account in advance, or you could wait till it downloaded through the bank, but you would have a debit or a payment from the bank account, uh, or out of the bank account for the 15393 and that represents the entirety of tax that is being sent in by Gusto. I'm going to go on that, and I'm going to I'm going to jump in there to essentially the split of that, aka journal entry, okay? And I'm going to show you how I represented that. This is the checking account where the debit came out of. So essentially, it was debited out of the account and credited to the journal entry. And then over here, what I did is I put an entry in for the total amount of salary that the company is paying. You know, granted, it's paying to me, but... But there's a delineation here between the company's activity and my personal activity, right? And the, these books, even though they're mock books, to be honest with you, uh, are, are siloing the S Corp from my personal expenses, which is very, which is different of how I actually do it for real and Quicken. So if you're curious, you can go watch that video and I sort of explain the difference. But in this case, the company is paying $48,000 of payroll and uh, it's paying 3721 of payroll tax on the company's behalf, okay? Now, 
that leaves to make this journal entry be in balance 36,328. And honestly, if you were to go to do the math uh, on what my net paycheck would have been, you're going to find out that it would have been 36,328. But let's do it. My, my uh, pay was 48,000 minus $8,000 of federal tax minus uh, 2976 of Social Security minus 696 of Medicare. That leaves 36,328. That would have been the net paycheck that I would have written myself. But because I didn't write myself that net paycheck, I'm essentially needing to journal in that amount to the right place. And what I'm going to do is journal it to the, the draws account that I've been accumulating throughout the year. Now, normally draws would be like kind of added to an equity account and you would just put that equity account here. And essentially what this would do is reduce your draws and increase your salary on the books. Now you might be wondering, well, why didn't it reduce the draws by 48,000? Because that's the salary you took. The reason it didn't reduce it that much is because the company paid in on my behalf the 11, uh, sorry, $11,672 of tax, right? And because, you know, the salary itself was 48,000 and the net paycheck was only 36 uh, 328, the company actually expended out essentially that money for real uh, instead of offsetting the draws. So I can only offset the draw with the net pay, which is the money I didn't receive. In, in essence, even though I didn't get the taxes, the taxes were part of my overall pay. So I received, you know, the tax money that the company expended. And that's why the draw is only offset by the net paycheck that I did not receive. Uh, it is a little confusing when you do it at first, and I'll, I won't lie. So I have a little... Um, report here. This is a report that I did the the entry of the bank, the bank account entry or the bank debit and journal entry on the 15th. Uh, and then so the day before is no activity. And then after the the debit and journal entry happened, you'll see now that the company has expended 48,000 in salary. It has expended 3721 in company payroll tax. And there is a negative amount to the account that I said was the draw. Now, normally, again, a draw would be an equity account. It wouldn't be an, uh, an other expense. But truth be told, when I do clients' books, I, throughout the year, put their draws down as another expense just so I can keep track of them and see them on the P&L. And then at the end of the year, I just do a journal entry uh, putting the draws from that account into the equity account um, for whatever that's worth. I like doing it that way. But uh, this negative 36, 328 would be offsetting the equity account where the draws are, have accumulated throughout the year. So that's how you journal in the paycheck without actually giving yourself a net paycheck in QuickBooks. Okay, hope that was helpful. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.